Hello everyone, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on the time that you are in. My name is Ohemu Godwin Pius, and as usual, it feels really, really good to be on your screen today. Thank God it is Friday. Thank God it's going to be a wonderful weekend and we are going to have a lot of time to rest, a lot of time to wind, and a lot of time to dine. A lot of time for us to connect with friends and to, you know, reach out to our family members and to enjoy the moment. There's not going to be work for us on Saturday and on Sunday we are going to go to church or go to our religious centers to enjoy the moment. I am super duper excited to be on your screen this evening because I am blown away and I really, really can't wait to leave the office to get home and enjoy the weekend. I want to believe that you are excited because today is Friday and, you know, every Friday is a very nice time for us to rest because there will be no work the following day and as such, we'll have a lot of time for us to enjoy the moment. But as your friend and as your brother who is very much concerned about your growth and development, I really, really want to share some clues with you as per how we can make our weekend a happy one. More, more often than not, some persons actually go for weekend and when they are back from you know, the weekend, they are terrified, they have lots and lots of job on their table that they need to attend to. But this advice which I'm going to give to you today is going to be of immense benefit in helping you to make effective use of this weekend such that when you get back to work on Monday, you would be able okay, to, uh, uh, um, to um, attend to more jobs that you have on your table and even do it with lots and lots of happiness so ladies and gentlemen this time i'm going to share with you three advice that will make you to have a happy weekend so what is the first advice the first advice which i have for you today in order for you to have a happy and a successful weekend is that you must make effective use of your time for you to have a happy and a successful weekend you really really need to make effective use of your time and in making use of your time it is you know it boils down to how you effectively utilize your lot of 24 hours whether you are rich or whether you are poor, every one of us, we have the gift of 24 hours. And this is what God Almighty has given to each and every one of us. The rich, the poor, the average, the middle class, we all have 24 hours a day. There's nobody who has 27 hours or 32 hours in a day. We have 24. So how you use your 24 is a function of how wealthy or how impoverished you will be as an individual. So in order for you to make judicious use of your weekend, you really, really need to commit to making effective use of your 24. Use your time effectively. Have a plan. Have a schedule. What am I going to do in the morning of Saturday? What am I going to do in the afternoon of Saturday? And what am I going to do in the evening of Saturday? Also look at you know um, what you are supposed to do on Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, and Sunday evening. All of these things put together is going to help you to effectively utilize your weekend, you know, utilize your break and also enjoy the moment. This is very, very important. And I really, really want you to draw a plan for yourself for the weekend. And these things will help you so that when you get back to work or you get back to your place of assignment on Monday, you will arrive with lots of energy, vibe and enthusiasm in order for you to deliver based on what you have been assigned to do. Second advice as per how to make your weekend successful is that you must, as a matter of all importance, you must learn how to ask for help. Don't be ashamed of asking for help. In this weekend, if you want to maximize the break that you have, you must learn how to ask for help. So how do you ask for help? If there is anything that you don't know how to do, don't be ashamed of asking people for help. If there is any skill that you really want to learn but you don't know the how at the moment, ask someone who knows this skill and that person will gladly teach you. If there is need for you to apprentice under somebody, volunteer for that and push yourself, okay? Go out and look for ways in which you can actually get this thing done. In the world that we are living in today, those who are making lots and lots of impact are those who are willing to ask for help. If you don't know how to do anything, don't be ashamed of asking people for help. 
ask them for help and they will gladly guide you as per how to do what you really need to do so that you can achieve success that is the second advice which i have for you today number one is that you must learn how to make effective use of your time this is very very important using your time wisely will help you so that you will not have large chunk of assignment, large chunk of job waiting for you on Monday when you get back to the office. And the second advice which I have for you today is that you really, really, really need to learn how to ask people for help. Ask them for help. If you don't know how to write, if you don't know how to speak, if you don't know how to write, if you don't know how to do anything at all, and you really want to learn the how, you must be willing to ask people for help. This is the best way for you to become successful in whatever that you are doing. And and finally, the third example or the third advice which I have for you today in order for you to have a successful weekend is that you must make time to rest. Yeah, you must make time to rest. You know, rest is very important. Whatever your course of discipline is or whatever your profession is, if there is no time for you to rest, there is every possibility that in no distant time, you will clothe yourself with sickness. Make our time to rest. That is why we have weekend. The weekend is time for you to rest. Relax, okay? cool off okay and then refresh yourself so that you can have lots of energy that you can use for work or for other assignments on monday when you get back to the office so rest is very important if you are a christian just as i am i believe so much in what we learn in genesis that god rested on the seventh day when he has done creating you know the heaven and the earth and everything therein he rested even god himself had to rest not because he was tired but because he needed to show us that rest is very important for us as human beings you can work monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and you're back on monday again and you keep working if you continue like that without rest you can walk 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 until you aspire so please Please make our time to rest your body need to relax so that your cells can actually rebuild themselves and be able to guide you in your assigned duty so ladies and gentlemen this is the three advice which I really really want to share with you today so that you can have a happy and a blissful weekend number one use your time effectively number two don't be shy to ask for help and number three I encourage you to make our time to rest rest because it is necessary in order for you to achieve more in the coming days of your life before I leave I want to say it very kindly that in effectively utilizing your time, it also involves, you know, the kind of things that you spend your time on. I will ask you to please commit time to reading, okay? Read, get a book to read. Even if it's a chapter that you can finish, it, it will help you a whole lot. Read, unlearn, and relearn. And these things will actually help you to become a better individual. Until I come your way again, I remain your brother and friend, Ohemu Godwin Pius. And I will be live on Speak Perfect International on Saturday, on um, Saturdays with Pius. It's going to be mind-blowing, and I know you will learn a whole lot from that particular presentation. So please make our time to join us on Speak Perfect International as we'll be learning new tips that will help us to become confident and inspiring public speakers that instigate change. So may your weekend be blessed. May all that you lay your hands upon, may they prosper, and may you effectively utilize your time may you ask for help where you need it and may you make our time to rest all of these things will help you to become a great individual do have a wonderful weekend and may your evening be blessed bye for now